my name is Mary with Mary Making Crafts and in today's video I'm going to be doing an unboxing of a Diamond Art Club kit. Uh, welcome to my channel if you are new here. Uh, today I'm going to be unboxing Scarecrow and Friends. Uh, this is by Joelle McIntyre. McIntyre? McIntyre? Uh, <laughs> this is a larger image here of the picture. It is absolutely beautiful. Now this is a pretty big kit. It is 90 centimeters by 70 centimeters or 35 and a half inches by 27 and a half inches about. So she's a big one. It's a pretty, pretty hefty kit. Lots of drills in there. Um, and it's nice and heavy. <laughs> it's in a nice long box too. So uh, this is one of the larger kits that I own. Um, I try not to purchase too many that are this size because my goodness, you would not believe how long they take me. <laughs> when you work a full-time job, it is very hard to get diamond paintings done. Let me tell you. So, looks like this box got just a little damaged here in transit, but that's okay. The inside product should be just fine. So, this one is a square diamond kit, meaning our, our diamonds are going to be square shape. First, we have our tool kit. We have our small sticker. Some people use this for their logbook. I like to use mine on the top of my box because I um, I store my kits upright. And then of course we have our Diamond Art Club dust cover bag with our canvas and all of our drills. And we will get, we'll get into that one later. <laughs> I'm just trying to move that up here, get out of the way. So first off, we're gonna take a look at what is inside this toolkit here. Alrighty, so first up we have our Diamond Art Club tray and stopper. Just uh, keeps your drills from falling out the end there. We have our bag of baggies. You can use this for kitting up or kitting down. We have a pen and a matching squishy. Your pen color and squishy might be different, but usually the pen and squishy match each other, which is pretty cool. And this one is perfect because we have a fall kit here today. Since this is a square diamond kit, you also have your Diamond Art Club tweezers. And we have our heart-shaped wax. You get two pads of that. Don't forget to take your plastic off the back there. And we have our multi-placers. You have a seven placer and a four. Now these are the nice thin ones. Uh, there are some that are a lot thicker and they're harder to multi-place with. So I highly recommend these nice, these nice thin ones. And last but certainly not least, we have my two favorite parts of it, of the toolkit. First we have our cover minder. Now this has two magnets on the back. You can take one of the magnets off, slide it under your canvas, pull your plastic back, and stick that right on top of there so you can hold your plastic back. And this one's a really pretty, I like that a lot. Love the color. This one actually matches another one I have, so I have a duplicate of this one. And last, for real this time, <laughs> we have our washi tape. So if you are not familiar with how to use washi tape in your painting, um, I will link a video right up here and I will show you how to do that. Um, this one is really pretty, very much fitting the fall theme here, um, except for the cover minder maybe. I guess it kind of, it kind of matches our little, our little overalls here. <laughs> anyway, um, I'm gonna go ahead and get this cleaned up and then we'll take a look at the canvas and drills. Alrighty, so let's take a look inside our dust cover bag. And like I said, I, I kind of pulled my camera angle out a little bit here because this one is, a very big painting. Move that bag and first off let's go ahead and empty what's inside here. All right oh my goodness look at those colors. Wow that's fun. Okay lots of really bright colors. I love how bright they are. Um, so first up, we have our insert here. This is uh, just the insert from Diamond Art Club. There's uh, 
QR codes you can scan with your phone's camera to go to the VIP Facebook group. That's a fun place to go to see what people in the community are up to, step-by-step um, -step instructions on how to diamond paint. And then on the back too, you have uh, two QR codes to get to uh, the downloading space, I guess, <laughs> for the uh, iPhone and Android apps. Highly recommend those. Uh, if you've never purchased from the app, you can get 20% off your first purchase. And, um, and uh, I highly recommend joining their uh, rewards program. Goodness gracious, words. Highly recommend their rewards program. You get a lot of money back and it's a great value. Um, if you've never purchased from Diamond Art Club before, I am an affiliate, so you can head over to um, the link down in my, uh, in my description there. And if you purchase your first kit through the link, um, I just get a little bit of credit for that. So we have that. Uh, we also have our logbook sticker. So I like to use this one for my logbook because it has the start and end date on there and all of the information. Here's a bigger image of that artwork. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. The colors in this one are just phenomenal. So, so beautiful. So we also have individual stickers. So this kit has 61 colors. Out of the 61, um, for Diamond Art Club, any number that is under the number 150, not including 150, but under it, um, is an AB drill. So AB just stands for Aurora Borealis, and that just means it has an extra special like iridescent coating on it. Um, so all of these right here, the yellow, orange, green, and white will all be AB drills. So we'll take a look at those when we look at the individual drills. But these individual stickers though are really nice for kitting up. Love them. So I'm gonna take a look at the canvas first. We'll look through all the drills and then I'll show you where the ABs go. All right, you guys, are you ready? This is so stunning. The colors are so beautiful. <laughs> Here we go. Oh my goodness. I've almost got it right in the frame there. I did notice um, when I was unfolding this that I had a little bit of, a little bit of wrinkling here. Um, one thing I will just make sure you know is Diamond Art Club's canvases are pretty great about flattening themselves out over time. Um, so this, I'm not super concerned about it, but if you are, you could always weight this down with like a nice heavy book and it should be just fine. So really quickly, I just wanna mention, um, you have your information down here that shows the artwork and that this is copyrighted by, um, copyrighted, copywritten, I don't know, by Joel McIntyre and um, Diamond Art Club got permission from the artist and is compensating her fairly for her artwork. So I love that. Um, you also have a lifetime warranty on your uh, Diamond Art Club canvases. So if for some reason that crinkling up there on the edge did pose a problem, I could always contact Diamond Art Club and I know that they would make it right. So that is really nice. Um, but anyway, here we have our canvas. And let me just tell you, there are just a few little details in this canvas I did not even notice until it was like blown up. Um, specifically, the squirrel up here in the tree. Stop it right now. He's so cute. Okay. <laughs> anyway, um, let's go ahead and we'll take a look at the drills and then we'll look at where the ABs go. One thing I always like to mention is that your drill bags here are labeled. So if you do decide to store your drills uh, separately from your canvas, you can do that without misplacing them. Alrighty, we are starting off strong here and we're going to go ahead and go into our very first AB. This one is a 131. It's a nice big bag of 131. It's kind of an orangish yellow. So we have two bags of 947, one bag of 938, and a nice a full chunky bag again of another AB drill 130. This one's just a bright yellow and you can see that iridescent coating kind of shining off of there just a little bit differently than it does on their regular drills. Next up we have three bags of 900, two bags of 498, one bag of 300, and two bags of 740. We have four whole bags of 741, and then three bags of 742. 
a bag of 33.71 and one bag of 310. One bag of 744, two bags of 743, one bag of 728 and two bags of 814. One bag of 154, two bags of 905, one bag of 890, two bags of 907. Two bags of 740, two of 817, and two huge bags of 134. This is our third AB, and so far all of them have been in big bags. Um, I have to say, I think this is the most ABs I've ever seen in a kit. I've, I have not stumbled across quite this volume ever, so very cool. Next up, we have 739. 3823, 782, 798, 783, 712, 904, two bags of that, 434, 3819. And all of these bags now are just a little smaller, 3755, 820, 436, 301, 400, 402, 945. Here is our final AB our white one, 141, and we don't have quite as much of this one as we did the others, but it's still quite a bit. <laughs> uh, 437 and 799. 208, 317, 3756-369, 648-647, 956-150-3816, and finally, our last strand, 934, 937, 935, 433, 3776, 3326, 3865, 435, 832, and last, but certainly not least, 797. So now let's take a quick look at where all of those AB drills go. I'm gonna take them out of the bag here and we'll take a look at the canvas and I'll show you where where these end up. Wow you guys so this is pretty crazy. Um, <laughs> I went ahead and put the bags of ABs where they go. I, I honestly have to say I think this is the most like the highest volume of ABs like not the highest quantity right like it's some kits have like five or six or seven different colors of ABs in them but this kit has the most just in volume that I have ever seen. So um, I'm gonna start off with number one, and that is our lighter yellow here, this one. Um, and then number two, our darker, kind of almost orange, those two ABs basically make up almost all of those sunflowers. So I don't know about you, but I'm the type of person who tends to do the part of my painting that I won't enjoy the most first, just to get it out of the way. Um, so this particular kit, I hope I remember this when it comes time to do this one, because I'll probably do it next year for fall. Um, but I'm the type of person, like if I, like I, like I said, I hope I remember this. <laughs> I like to do my kits from left to right if they're landscape like this, but that section, that section up there is going to be a beast. <laughs> um, I'm not gonna lie. So sometimes AB drills are just a little bit harder to place. Um, it's just tough to get them, you know, off of your wax um, or your putty. Um, they just, they love to stick um, to not the right places. So, I'll just say that. And then also, in addition to the uh, sunflowers here, they're, the number two, this darker yellow, is actually, it makes up the little bees that are in the center um, of those sunflowers. So very, very cute. Um, number three is our green, and that's these two down here. Um, Basically, I would say these ABs probably make up about a third of the green that you see on this entire canvas, maybe 25% of it, but it's quite a bit. Um, it is up here in this grass behind the scarecrow. Uh, it's also in the field, whatever's growing up there. And then everywhere down here in the little pumpkin patch, 
wherever you see the green leaves and stems, this is sprinkled throughout. So tons of that green. And then um, we also have the white up here. So I, let's see, that one makes up the sun right up there, like pretty much the whole center of the sun. And then it also, I see just a little bit of it sprinkled in the little butterflies down here. So there's one there and then one right here. So that's really cute. <laughs> um, one thing I will say is um, even with all of the ABs in this kit, I was surprised to not see any ABs in the scarecrow itself. So um, I figured I would just kind of share this information with you um, moving forward. If I'm looking at a painting and I see an opportunity where you could add more ABs or more crystals, um, you know, or special drills to a kit, I figured I would go ahead and just mention that um, just to, you know, spark any ideas. You absolutely do not have to follow what I'm saying. Um, you don't have to agree with it either. Um, you can always put in the comments down below where you might add some sparkle um, because we're all different, right? We all have different preferences, but I just figured I would share my thoughts on it. And um, for the Scarecrow, he might have, he does have some ABs up in his sunflower, so he does have that. But I don't know, I might just add just a little something else to him. Maybe around his eyes or something? I'm not sure. I just feel like I there, there's opportunity there to add something. And then I feel like all of the animals in this kit have really, they're just kind of floating in the background. We have like a crow up here. There are two mice in his little pockets, adorable. Um, you know, so I just think there's opportunity for ABs within those too, uh, especially with eyes. Um, we have a bunny down here. We've got the two butterflies and the bees. We have a cat on the fence. There's an owl up in the tree. And then we have, of course, our little uh, squirrel friend over there. So, Tons of little animals here, um, and it does look, oh, I did miss these. It's hard to see them all, y'all, because it's a huge canvas. The cat here does have some ABs as his eyes. They're the number one, that yellow. So there, there is opportunity, um, but sometimes I also like to switch out some of the ABs for crystals, um, especially with the eyes. I think that's a really fun way um, with animal eyes to do crystals instead of ABs, uh, just because the way they sparkle. Anyway, um, this is really, really stunning. Uh, it's even more beautiful uh, rendered, I think, than I thought it was going to be. So uh, I'm excited to work on this one, as I am all of the kits that I purchased, but um, I am not, while I do have an affiliation with Diamond Art Club, I do not, um, you know, I'm not sponsored in any way. I purchase all of my kits with my own money. So, um, I know I have a lot of them, <laughs> but if you like this unboxing, just let me know down in the comments below, give this video a thumbs up. And if you're new here, I would love to have you. If you'll just hit that red subscribe button down below the video, um, and then you can keep up to date on any new videos that I post. Um, I do lots of unboxings, um, usually weekly whip and chats. We're getting back into a groove uh, since I was sick. Um, and some vlogs along with you know, tips and tricks on diamond painting. So be happy to have you here and I will see you in the next one. Bye.